Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing um, a slight discussion video about the current Super Saiyan Gogeta and Super Janemba banner that's going to be coming out later on this week. Now I just uploaded my Super Gogeta and Janemba banner overview from the GP side, so this is going to be put out a day in advance or a day afterwards. So uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about the, the banner that's coming up, the viability of the future of these units, and whether they're not or they're, they, you should be pulling on them. Now, if you just want the short answer, um, the answer is yeah, they kind of are. They're definitely staples, especially Gogeta. The, jo the Gogeta banner in itself is definitely going to be the best banner you're going to want to pull on. But this video, it, the, the, that answer comes because of what we're talking about in this video, and it's specifically the cards in the banner and their relevance to the future category meta, not the mono teams that we're currently used to. That means the, not the mono intelligence team, not the mono strength team, we're foregoing that and all of that. We're just specifically talking about the category system that's coming out in the future and the relevance of these cards on those in those in that system. So with that being said and that being completely clarified before we start the video, let's go ahead and talk about um, how relevant these guys are in the future and their role that they're going to play. So first off, the Gogeta and Jadema banner came out. We already did a discussion of who's on that banner. Um, I'm not going to go full into the banners again. I'm going to say this, Janemba isn't here because he did not meet the criteria at all, which means he did not have any category attached to him. He, he's part of no category, at least at this time. We, there's speculation that at some point in the game, they're going to release a, uh, a like a movie villain category, but we don't know. We have no idea if that's going to be a thing or not. If that is a thing, that would be phenomenal. I think that would be cool. You know, Janemba, Korra, guarantee you that there's going to be some other really good OP units that come out that's going to have to like, head that. But there, there's a lot there, and that would be definitely for a separate video for speculation. I might do that at some point. But Janemba's not here. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk. I'm actually going to have to click on this because I closed out the two tabs because my OBS crashed out on me before. Oh, man. So in terms of who's available for the, uh, for the categories, as you saw, I just clicked on them. It's Merge, Zamasu, and Cell. Those are the only two on the Janemba banner that have a place in future category metas. Now, Merge of Masu is part of the Patara and the Godly Dimension category, and you have Cell, who is going to be part of the Revived Warrior category. Now, my thing is, I don't think that Cell is a staple unit. If you like him, go for him. Don't get me wrong, but he's not really a staple unit on any category, actually. Maybe Mono Strength, Extreme Strength with Janemba if you're going for that, but in terms of future categories, he's not really a primary unit you're going to want to run on that, on that category. I mean, you're going to have to take a look at your team, go over here to uh, J Japan or dbz.space. Actually, it's going to be jpn.dbz.space for that Revive Warrior category. But you're going to have to go over there and take a look to see who's actually available, what cards you currently have for that meta. I'm going to go up here and we're going to hit translate to English. Because as you see, we have a lot of different leads or different categories that you can, cho that you can choose from. Um, Resurrected Fighter has 39 cards, so or 112 technically, but 39 different specific units. And there's a lot you can choose from. And I, I don't think that Cell is going to come in as a primary unit you're going to want to run on your team. That's just my opinion on it, unless you're just going based on characters you like. Uh, that goes also for this uh, Merge Zamasu, or Zamasu. Godly Dimension, probably going to be there. You're going to want to run him for Patara, which is a subcategory. Technically, I call it subcategory because it's not a Dokkan exclusive category led team. So he's part of that subcategory, he's part of two, but technically for Dokkan exclusive, he's only part of Godly Dimension. You don't, I don't really see Godly Dimension run that often, uh, at least on the JP when I log in to go do some basic missions and stuff like that. God, Godly Dimension has 27 unique characters and 70 total cards. Most of them are Beerus's and Weeses, and they have the God, the God Kus and the God Vegeta's. So I mean, oh, then, I mean, I guess you got the Zamasu's and stuff like that, but overall, not that many people run him, and plus, I think this is also technically a subcategory because it's not a Dokkan exclusive. So that's really not as relevant. I don't see many people running him. UI Goku is cool to have and everything, but that just brings it down. So that's why I don't think that Janemba Banner is that worth it, at least in terms of future future metas. Uh, the Vegeta is the only one on the Gogeta Banner that has part. Well, I don't want to say that he only has one category. He's part of the subcategory the Godly Dimension, which is part of the UI Goku, who is not a Dokkan best exclusive. Uh, it's cool. He's there. I don't think he's a primary unit on that either. Uh, but he actually, he probably is because of how hard 
get its attack was 100% with immense damage and its stream type enemies attack and defense minus 20%, which is very viable. Uh, he's really cool, he's a good unit, so he probably would be uh, very viable. And he raises attack for three turns. Not my, my my cup of tea, but some of you might like that. So he'll be good on that, on that category team if you plan to run it when it comes out. The next one is going to be Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. He is very, very relevant. He's part of both Katara and Godly Dimension, which are the two subcategories I've been talking about. You're going to want to run him on both of them. He is the hero's leader. He's overall going to be good, and he should probably be getting an LR Doken Awakening, which is going to make him even more viable. Another reason why you should pull on the Super Gogeta banner. Next one is Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. 120 tech lead. I don't have him. I would like to have him. <laughs> uh, he does a lot of damage. Attack plus 20%. Attack plus 20% per rainbow key orb obtained. Really awesome. You can make him hit as hard, just as hard, almost as hard as Super Saiyan 4 Goku with that, um, depending on how the orbs line up, obviously. But he's also part of two categories, existing categories, which is Revive Warrior and Majin Buu Saga. And both of these are... Um, Oh, let's see, they are both actual Dokkan exclusive leader categories. I'm pretty sure they are anyway. Uh, we're going to open up the Majin Buu one. Uh, yes, they are, because it's the Super Gogeta who is part of that category lead. So you have two of them who were there for him. And then you have the Future Super Saiyan 3 category, which I already did a review of that with the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock that's coming out, which is one of the ones I can't wait for, which he's going to have a huge, huge part to take a part in. His awesome link skills, he's just an amazing unit. He is probably, honestly, in terms of future meta, probably the number one card you're going to want to pull in this. If you already pulled him, congratulations. You have one of the best cards for future metas from the 120 leaders at this time. One of them. There's one more above him in terms of that, in my opinion. Um, next one is obviously going to be Super Gogeta. He's only part of fusions. Nothing in the foreseeable future. Yes, he's an amazing unit. He's going to be a staple. He's going to be a staple on the fusions team. He's a staple on the heroes team. But in terms of the future meta, again, this is for future metas, he does not play a lot of have a lot of relevance because he's only part of one category led team so phenomenal unit a great unit definitely want to pull on him um if we're, if we're talking about the future the super saiyan 3 angel goku is the one you're going to want to pull at least the one that's on this banner for future banners we are going to go ahead and talk about right, we actually have one more hybrid saiyans we have the super saiyan trunk which is really good for lr gohan on the hybrid saiyan team if you don't have like the super saiyan lr gohan like the, his ssr variant that paired next to him for those buffs this Trunks is going to be the next best one because he does type to type key orb manipulation, which will help, help that LR Gohan hit a lot harder, especially if you're going to be saving for that ultimate Gohan for this hybrid same team. Something like I'm trying to do. But he's only part of one as well. The fact is, I just told you how many cards, one, two, three, four, five cards that are going to be available on the Gogeta banner, um, that, and the Janemba banner only has two, you know, in terms of who will be viable in the future. So, Gogeta Banner, definitely, definitely a lot better than the Janemba Banner overall. Now, in terms of future banners or future cards for 120 leaders, the ones that are left is Super Saiyan 3 Broly and the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is probably one of the most versatile cards that have come out in terms of the categories. He is part of three current categories, Fusion, Hybrid Saiyan, Majin Buu Saga. These three are all Dokkan exclusive categories. And he's going to be part of the, well, most likely he's going to be part of the Super Saiyan 3 category in the future. He's going to be a staple in the team. He's going to hit really hard. <laughs> um, we don't know exactly how it's all going to work out, but he's a Super Saiyan 3. Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's going to be coming out. This means he's part of four major categories. Well, assuming that Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's going to be a Dokkan Fest exclu exclusive, which he probably should be. Uh, I did forget to mention in my video when I did the review on that, uh, that that there are two other, I think, Dragon Ball heroes or Xenoverse characters that are coming out, like Super Saiyan 3 Gohan and Super Saiyan 3 something or other that's coming out. But uh, I think it was Trunks, actually. But uh, that, that, that team is going to be insane. And he's going to probably be another staple on that team because of how phenomenal he is. Uh, but yeah, so in terms of the, the two, well, the, the new Dokkan Effects exclusive, I'm not going to tell you not to pawn. If you like the cards and you want the mono teams, go for it. In terms of future meta, um, definitely do the discounted summons on both banners if we get them, but you're probably going to want to focus on the Super Gogeta banner, and honestly, um, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, it's really going to come down to he's probably going to be the best card in terms of future banners or future team building that you can pull uh, as compared to the Super Gogeta. But these are the two staple units, the, the best leaders in, in, well, I don't want to say the best leaders in the game, but the two of the best leaders in the game from 120 meta. Uh, they're going to be have the most viability on future teams. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku will uh, will be outshined by Gogeta on like a Heroes team or something like that, but you're probably going to want to run them on, the, on that team anyway. But uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to do a quick video on that, on future the future metas of Dokkan Battle 
the current Kojita and Janemba hype that are coming out, and how viable all the cards on this banner are going to be. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. The banner is definitely worth pulling on, especially for now. Uh, but in terms of future metas, the Gogeta banner is probably going to be your primary focus, which obviously we already knew because it's Gogeta and everyone wants Gogeta over Janemba. But whatever, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.